What's going on guys? So uh, today is the final video on our Maglite build. I <laughs> just wanted to do kind of an end video on the conclusion of everything. Uh, since the last one I actually moved this Rothko grip up a little bit towards the head in line with that button. Um, I also want to kind of give you like a first person, well not first person perspective because that's what I normally give you. I want to give you an opposite idea of how this thing would actually work. All right, so if you're using it, you know, like a baton, you can obviously do so. Uh, you can swing it out and have it the other way as well. Um, you can hold it in a reverse grip. You could strike with that um, bust a cap pommel. You need to break some glass. God, you know it'd be tragic if I accidentally hit the lens of my camera and shattered it. I just realized that as I was, you know, kind of doing one of those. Uh, anyway, you can swing it around. You can use the bezel. It's just pretty interesting, but besides you know, some practical purposes, like maybe blocking a strike or something. Um, it's just a really comfortable handle, because as we know, 999 times out of a thousand, you're not beating people down, right? So the whole self-defense thing is a really cool idea um, and theme to go with for this build, but you know, more times than not, you're not, you're not defending yourself, you're just using a flashlight, right? So this does have a practical purpose uh, as being a super comfortable handle, okay? Especially with the 60 mag light, you could tuck that in the armpit, it supports it very, very nicely, okay, either in this kind of reverse grip or, you know, an overhand grip to actually use the flashlight. Now, as far as our insert goes, I did swap this to the number 10 set of modes, which is just the full 100% output, that full 5,000 lumens, or strobe, okay? Now, obviously, this is during the day, but assuming you're the bad guy, all right, that would obviously be extremely distracting. So, yeah, there it is. That's a complete setup. And even though we have this uh, handle on here, which again can be used in a variety of very comfortable positions. You can still use this in the overhand grip. Again, the original idea <laughs> was that, you know, you had the light on and you're searching and then, uh oh, there's a bad guy, Whoosh, you know? That's the, uh, the concept behind why you would carry a massive mag light. So like, I got some comments here and there from people saying, well, you know, you can get brighter lights and they're a lot smaller and cheaper and stuff. Yeah, of course, that's not, I mean, it's not the purpose of the build. The build was to be totally fun, totally ridiculous, and maybe give people some different ideas on how to take their old mag lights that are just sitting in a closet somewhere or a drawer and make them cool and fun again. That's the whole purpose, all right? So that was the build. Um, the total cost in the build was just over $300. Uh, that's everything. That's the rechargeable batteries. That's our busted cap. Um, that is our bezel our Rothko handle, the uh, LED insert that is with the Lit Industries original uh, LED upgrade that we did as well. Now I did originally mention that when this build was done that I was gonna sell it. Uh, I thought it'd be really fun to do this type of build, but at the end of the day, I don't have a specific need for something like this, so I just wanted to sell it for what the money I had put into it. Um, and uh, I had a, a friend who was kind of following the build from the beginning, and uh, as I started doing things, he basically just said, I gotta have it. So I ended up selling it to him for uh, actually just a touch less if you don't count shipping than what it actually cost to build this thing. Uh, unfortunately, throughout the build, a lot of things became unavailable. The, uh, the Grothko grip was originally, I think, $30 on Amazon. It's no longer available on Amazon. Uh, I did a quick search on it, saw it on eBay for like $60. I don't quite know if that's worth it, but I mean, if you really wanted something like that to put on any of your mag lights, um, you know, that's up to you. I'm sure there's other places you can maybe find it. Um, you know, something as simple as like the crenulated bezel or just the Busta Cap, which is extremely useful, not even for defense, but just for breaking glass, okay? So let's say you have a little, you know, 2D or 3D uh, cell mag light. You can just get the Busta Cap and, you know, kind of upgrade yours. Or let's say you don't care about all the other stuff, you just want to actually have it perform. I think a lot of people have the old mag lights and they just don't use them because they're not that bright. They're big, bulky, and not bright. Again, the whole idea with going with the self-defense theme is that these make amazing self-defense flashlights um, that you can have legally a lot of places. Now, even though it is a flashlight, someone would point out that some countries have ridiculous laws and probably still would not allow you to have a stock mag light of this size because it could be used as a weapon, but realistically anything could be used as a weapon. Yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the series. Uh, again, the idea on adding these parts were very simple drop-ins. There's no uh, customization needed, like as far as doing things yourself. You didn't need special tools. You don't need to be able to solder and change out the LEDs and things like that. This was as simple as buying different parts, 
plugging it together like a Lego set and coming up with something totally unique. And I think I accomplished that goal. Very happy with how it turned out. This is a very functional, <laughs> very unique uh, mag light that again, one of my friends are going to enjoy. So again, hopefully you enjoyed the series. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you happen to customize your mag light along this process and thought it was a fun idea, let me know down in the comment section. Let everyone else know what parts you got. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Um, everything aside, if you have an old mag light and you're not getting any use out of it, if your parents have one, grandparents have one, just sitting around, it's worth you know spending ten to thirty dollars and getting different types of uh, LED upgrades for them. I think that's totally worth the uh, the investment. So you actually have a light that you're going to use. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.